So my husband took me to the gym this morning. He's been asking me to go and I've been wanting to make a lot of changes for my health. And I've mentioned before, I hit the big 4-0 in February and it just feels like it's now or never, right? I've, I've just, oh, I'll get more into that in a second, but I'm at the gym and I just found myself in tears seeing these other people, everyone's there working on their own thing. Nobody was mean, you know, everyone is in different places, but I just had this like mental emotional breakdown because I am so far from where I want to be. And I'm having this moment where I'm realizing or just trying to reconcile how far I have fallen in the last 10 years. <laughs> I would be so curious to know if you can relate because I think that this is a new form of triage, as I call it. If you're familiar with the pathway to personal development that I teach um, through my coaching and other things, I, I really have isolated based on my research and experience and working with many clients that there are typically three main phases of personal development. The first one is what I call triage, where you are just needing to do emergency <laughs> repair on some situation. You're completely overwhelmed. You're so stressed. This was what I experienced back when I had my first son and I didn't know how I was going to, you know, pull my life together, come out of my suicidal depressive state, be able to focus, get my work done and balance it all still an elusive mission, right? I never claim to have it all figured out, but that turned into the transformation phase where you learn to apply systems and routines and, you know, these proven tactics that really help you get your life together and kind of stay on top of it all more or less, especially as long as life is relatively stable. But then of course life can throw these curve balls at you and you can, can go backwards to the other phase. Um, so it's not a linear one way process, right? You kind of bounce from phase to phase, but the third phase, the ideal phase is the triumph phase where you have really determined that you want to put yourself and your passions, right? on the table, you wanna go after your goals and you know that taking care of yourself makes you that much stronger and better able to take care of those you love. And so this three stage process, triage, transformation, and triumph, these are the stages of personal development that I coach on and that I have resources to help depending on which phase you are in. Side note, if you are curious about where you are at, I have a free life assessment that I will link for you down below that walks you through signs of uh, kind of where you might be and how to determine what resources and, and proven tactics would help you based on where you are at. So completely free, link in the description. But I had this big wake up call today because here I am realizing that I have not yet come to terms with just how much my life has changed in the last 10 years since I became a mom. If you're familiar with my story, so many big hard things happened 10 years ago. I earned my PhD, I moved across the country, I had my first son and I started teaching in my tenure track position just two weeks after he was born. And it has been a whirlwind since then. Uh, I just, I've ended up having four kids in seven years and then still trying to work and now run this side business and YouTube channel and all the things that I love. But on top of that, we had the pandemic totally destroyed my <laughs> my situation that was so brutal for my husband and me and then my husband and I have lost so many loved ones in the span of just a couple of years and most recently it was my mom in March and you know I've been I've been up and down I've been doing okay but today it all just like hit me right that ah uh, life is just so different now than it was I've really like I've, I just, not that I've lost the person I was, but of course I've changed. We're always changing and life is changing us. We grow into who we're meant to be through the hard things that we experience. But I at the gym today was really having trouble wrapping my head around just where I'm at now versus where I was 10 years ago and all the hard things that have happened in between and led me to where I am. And it's not good or bad, right? There's no wrong place to be. We are exactly where God wants us, but I have so far to go 
to get to a place that I know I can be. And health-wise in particular, it's just really easy to play the victim and blame the hard circumstances and, you know, just shout from the rooftops like, hey, I've had four kids and I haven't slept in 10 years and it's so hard, it's so stressful. And I was just an emotional wreck. And my husband was so wonderful. He was reminding me that everybody there is working towards something. In his words, no one has arrived yet, right? We're each on our own journeys. But I'm reflecting on all of this and I just wanted to share it with you because you might find yourself, either you're here now or you might find yourself someday in a similar situation where you just have this like, this wake up moment and realize how different your life is and in my situation, not really for the better, right? Like I wouldn't trade anything. I would not certainly give up my kids or, or any of that, but like what has happened to me physically, mentally, emotionally in the last 10 years is a lot. And I'm just realizing how little I've actually processed because I've been so go, go, go. And now this is my new chance to do a new kind of triage and really figure out the foundations, right? From the ground up, how I can build my life moving forward, how I can better prioritize my health because I've long known I need to do that, but there are always other things vying for our attention. And I have totally fallen into that trap of feeling like I got to get my work done or, you know, the kids need me and now they were sick or whatever happened. So I missed out on the work time that I had and I'm perpetually behind. And so my health has just always gone on the back burner. You might find yourself in a situation where you, you know, your kids are getting older and you realize that you have totally put yourself and your passions on hold. Many of my coaching clients come to me with this problem where they don't even know who they are anymore because all the things they used to love fell by the wayside when they were so busy caring for their families and their young kids. And now that their kids are older, they're kind of in limbo. Like, who am I? What do I do with myself now? And how can I really make time for what I love? <sighs> it's a never ending journey, isn't it? But it's so just awesome in its own way. It's really incredible to me that every day is a new chance to know ourselves better, to become more aware of what we want our lives to look like and to grow into that person, especially working to identify the things that need to change and then break those big changes down into small incremental things, minuscule things that we can do now, but need to be consistent with. And that's where I have completely fallen short. I, it's really easy to want to just jump right into all the hardest things, right? And prove my strength or prove my worth or just be instantly that supermodel that I'm never going to be. <laughs> but yeah, I just reconciling where we're at and where we've been and how we got to where we're at. Whew, that's a whole new emotional journey that I am embarking on. And if you are there, if you can relate, or if you're curious about the other phases of personal development, please reach out because I love talking about this stuff and it's just so enlightening, right? We're never there. We've never arrived. I hope this helps. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I make weekly videos all about productivity, planning, purposeful living, and ways that we can just try and live our best life. Always, always a mission. Never there, but it's it's something I'm working on and I hope to inspire you to do as well. Have a great day.